Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. The 2022 boar breeding season has been long and productive for me and I believe it's finally come to an end. So as I was checking the tubs this morning and my last gravid female has given birth. This is a Suriname true red tail. She either gave birth early this morning, maybe late last night. I checked before bed and didn't see anything. So I'm gonna go check out the babies if you've been Watching these videos, you know the drill. I'm going to take out the mother, give her a soak, get her cleaned up, get the tub cleaned up, take a look at the babies, and see what we have. It's been a real long season with my first litter being born over five months ago, back at the end of March, actually. And so this is a little bittersweet, but I'm happy that it looks like we have some babies. I had a couple late litters that slugged out on me, which was a big disappointment. But it's good that it looks like we'll be going out at least with a positive litter. So now let's go check out the babies and see what we have. So this is a first time mother. This is a Prometheus bloodline female born in 2016. And it doesn't look like a huge litter. There's some babies on the side there. There's a close up of some of the babies. I believe there's a few more hiding under this hide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently remove the female just to get her out of the way, give her a soak. And she doesn't seem terribly aggressive, but sometimes they can be really defensive when they've given birth. So I'm just gonna remove her for my safety prior to close, more closely inspecting the babies. The mother's soaking now to get her cleaned up and I went ahead and took out the hide. So it doesn't look like a huge litter, about seven or so babies. But luckily I don't see any slugs or stillborns, which are always uh, not something that I want to see. So looks like some really nice babies here. Some nice colors. Of course, they look kind of dull now since they were just born and haven't shed. But they definitely look like they're going to be really beautiful after they have their shed. Although they are really beautiful now, just not quite as colorful. Looks like a really clean litter. I don't see too much goo. You know, sometimes they have these litters and they're just dripping with goo and all kinds of residue, but this one looks pretty clean. I think because it was a little bit on the smaller side and there weren't any things you don't want, like the slugs or stillborns. I did a head count and confirmed there's seven babies, which is a pretty typical size litter for a first born litter from a female. I'd say a pretty typical typical size for a true red tail litter overall is about a dozen babies. I mean people see these postings with 30 or 40 babies but this is really the exception. The largest litter I've had was 25 babies from a Suriname female. And just sometimes you get more quality than quantity as is the case with these Prometheus bloodline animals. This female was about a week or so past the due date as predicted by the post ovulation shed. And in fact, we have a rare early fall storm moving through Northern California here. So I'm wondering if the low pressure system, the storm may have induced her to give birth. I've heard about boas giving birth when the storms are moving through. So this could possibly be what happened here or could just be a coincidence. Either way, I'm really happy to have this, the last litter of 2022 on the ground. Now I'm gonna get these babies out, get them into a 14 gallon Sterilite tub, take a closer look at them. I have the babies in a 14 gallon Sterilite tub and you can see them now. I just have them on a paper towel substrate, which I'll change in a few hours to keep it clean. So overall, really nice litter, beautiful patterns on these guys, nice peak saddles, nice long red tails, as is synonymous with this bloodline. And a nice way to end the 2022 breeding season. Here you can see the patterns up close, and I see a few that kind of stand out as far as the color, like the one on the top there. I just can see a lot of like pinks and reds in that one. So after he sheds, he or she sheds, uh, should be a gorgeous animal. Nice long red tails. Just really like these Surinams. And Surinams are definitely one of my favorites. And 
I seem to have good success with them. This is my fourth litter of the year as far as Suriname. So really happy with my outcome, my, you know, my babies of this year. I did have one slug out on me um, about two weeks ago. Also had a Peruvian litter that didn't go well. So that'll be the subject of a future video perhaps, but I'm just really happy that I can close out 2022 on a positive note with this beautiful litter of a Lucky 7 Suriname Red Tail Boas. And for now I'll leave you with a shot of this baby that just seems to kind of want to go to the side. Sometimes there's always one baby that doesn't really join in with the rest of the litter. I don't know if that's like a perhaps a behavioral or personality difference in particular animals like this. I went ahead and soaked the female for a while and got her cleaned up and cleaned out her tub, put in fresh substrate, and now she's back in the tub getting a well-deserved rest. She's just kind of moving around, probably looking for food, and of course she'll get a well-deserved rat tomorrow. So this is her first time litter. She did great, real nice litter, really happy with these babies. And they actually have the Prometheus bloodline from both sides because the father is also a Prometheus bloodline animal and I'll show you him in a few minutes. She just doesn't want to stay in there. But uh, really exciting because unfortunately Prometheus is no longer with us. And this is basically genetically equivalent of offspring from Prometheus himself. So really excited about that. First time I produced babies like that other than the uh, the litters I had from Prometheus. So she'll go back in there and just get a well-deserved rest. Maybe breed her again in two years. We'll just have to see. Really a year and a half. But of course she'll get next year off just to rest and recover, put back on the weight, and then hopefully have another litter at that point, probably uh, 2024. It's been a while. I just came to change the paper towels and get it cleaned up. Although there really wasn't that much gunk, just a little bit of umbilical cord left over that you can see in the center there and as you can see the babies are kind of piled in the corner on top of the heat spot which as they normally do it's just a kind of a defense mechanism to all stick together and hopefully avoid the predators or you know if a predator did attack he might get one baby but the rest will probably escape here's a closer look at the pile of babies just a real nice sight some real beauties there. You can see those really bright long red tails and some really nice looking patterns on these babies as well. So real excited to see what they look like after they shed. And there's one that's kind of trying to leave the main pile. I broke up the pile a bit just so you could get a better view of the ones that were buried. But definitely some top shelf animals on there. Real nice representatives of the bloodline. I'll keep them in this 14 gallon sterilite tub for a little over a week till they have their first shed. Keep them nice and humid in here. And I just have a simple paper towel substrate and they're on a heat mat set to maintain about 90 degrees. And as you can see I also added a water dish. They usually don't drink very much but sometimes they do end up soaking and the water dish helps to increase the humidity. So a real nice litter of Prometheus Bloodline Suriname boas and real nice way to end the 2022 breeding season to go out on a high note like this. I'm gonna end this video by showing you guys the father of the litter. This is the father, he's a 2016 Prometheus Bloodline Suriname male. And so this particular litter has both parents coming from the Prometheus bloodline. So that's a little different than my other two Prometheus litters where only one parent was from the Prometheus bloodline. So this particular litter has an extra strong influence of Prometheus himself. And since Prometheus is no longer with us, unfortunately, I can't get any offspring from him. But this litter is genetically equivalent to offspring from Prometheus himself with 50% from that line. So really excited about this particular litter. Real nice male here with the peak saddles and long red tail. So these should be some really nice top shelf babies from this litter. 
and so the babies some of them or if not all of them will be available in about a month and a half to two months so that'll be around the late october early november time frame so there should be time for shipping before the winter gets you know the weather gets a little too cold and uh, i have to stop shipping for the winter but uh like my other litters the best place to see information on available animals is right here on the brian boas youtube channel so just stay tuned to this channel for future videos on available animals having this last litter of 2022 is a little bittersweet i'm really happy how it turned out and we have a nice one to end the season unlike some of my last couple of litters where i had slug outs but um it's a little bittersweet you know i spent so much time over the last five and a half months or so checking for babies and now i finally get a little bit of a break but of course boa breeding never ends and in just about a month and a half believe it or not i'm going to be pairing up my animals for the 2023 breeding season so really excited about that I'm not exactly sure which animals are going to be paired up at this point. I have a pretty good idea in my head. I just have to really think about it and really put my plans down on paper before I enact them. And, you know, I don't really have that much time. I don't really have time for a vacation from doing this. This is basically a 24-7, uh, 365 type of endeavor where you just never get a break um, from breeding the boas. And... It really becomes part of your life and it's been a very exciting season with lots of highs and lows certainly my best season ever in terms of the number of litters and the number of animals you know the quality is always been pretty high here i only look for you know really top quality animals and i really stand behind the babies i produced this year i had a number of disappointments as is always the case but you know enough successes to definitely spur me on to hopefully do a little better in the following year so um, i intend to bring a lot of that to you over this channel in the year ahead and hopefully there should be a lot of excitement and a lot of great babies coming in the future um, of course i can't say exactly what it is so you'll just have to stay tuned and i really want to uh, reach out to you guys and really uh, express my appreciation for those of you who've been following the channel and supporting my breeding efforts um, you know thanks you really make it possible anyway i hope you enjoyed the video as always shoot me any questions or comments you may have thanks for watching and enjoy your boas